In this lesson, we'll take a look at how you um, use trigonometry to uh, solve uh, physical problems. And in the first one here, we have this diagram. We have this river flowing past this uh, cliff. And we're asked to find two things. Uh, this is the kind of thing that an, um, a surveyor might do. If they wanted to find the distance across the river, and that's the CB distance here, um, they could lay, locate two points on the side of the river where they're on, measure the distance between them, and measure the angle. They have instruments to do this. Measure the angle to a point like B, so they know that this is 59 degrees. Uh, that would be 38 degrees. And then uh, the angle of elevation to the top of the cliff uh, this is 41 degrees, that's the angle of elevation from C up to the top of the cliff. And we can use those measurements in order to determine the distance across the river and how high the cliff is on the other side without actually physically uh, directly measuring them. Now in the triangle, this imaginary triangle that's on the river here, we know two angles and we can find the third one by subtracting 38 and 59 from 180 degrees. Because remember in any plane triangle, the three angles add up to 180. So angle CBD would be 180 minus the 38 and the 59. And so that works out to be 83 degrees. So let's put that on the diagram. So this angle in here is 83. And the reason we need that is because I'm going to use the sine law to find the length of side BC here. And so I need a, an angle opposite side pair. That's why I need to find the 83 degrees in order to use the sine law. So in order to find CB, CB is opposite the 59 degree angle. So we write sine of 59 over the CB side, the one we're trying to find, equals the sine of 83 over 226. That's how the sine law works. The sine of an angle over its opposite side is equal to the sine of another angle in the triangle over its opposite side. And so we rearrange algebraically to solve for CB. Some people call this cross multiplying. So CB is the product of the two things in the diagonal that you know, which are the 226 and the sine of 59, divided by the other quantity, the sine of 83. And so that calculation will give us the CB distance, the distance across the river here, which is 195 meters. So let's put 195 meters on our diagram. We do need that because that's the uh, base of this ABC triangle. So in this right triangle, the 195 is the adjacent side, adjacent to the 41. And uh, I'll put an H up here. That's not the hypotenuse. That's just the height. This would be the opposite side. So opposite and adjacent we're working with, that's the tan ratio. So that's why I would use tan to find how high the height is. So I would write tan equals opposite over adjacent, H over 195. And if we solve for h, h would be the product of 195 and the tan of 41, which works out to be 170 meters. So this cliff is 170 meters high. So answering the two questions, the river is 195 meters wide and the cliff is 170 meters high. One more example on the second page here. Uh, Jennifer and her friend Olga are working together competing in an orienteering meet. They walk 1.9 kilometers north. So here's the 1.9 kilometers north. And then they turn at an angle of 100, degree, 100 degrees towards the west. So this would be straight north. So they're going at an angle of 100 degrees from there. So a little bit past 90. So that's the 100 degrees. Uh, they walk another 3.4 kilometers. So the question is, how far are they from their starting point? Now, if that's 100 degrees, this angle would be 80, because those two are supplementary. They add to 180, they make a straight angle. So this would be 80 degrees. And in this triangle we're trying to find, I'll call this side D. And just to label a little bit, let's call this B over here. So this would be side B. This would be angle D up here. And then we'll call this angle C. So side C is the 3.4. Now, we know two sides and the angle between them, and we're trying to find the third side. And that's a classic uh, cosine law configuration. If you know two sides and the angle between them, the cosine law solved for a side is used to find the third side. 
So d squared would equal b squared plus c squared minus 2bc times the cosine of angle d. This angle d is the uh, angle opposite the side we're finding. We know this is, angle, this is side d, so we know capital D is 80. So filling in the values for b and c and uh, angle d, it looks like this. And then we would just calculate this whole quantity. Make sure you multiply the cos of 80 and the 3.4 and the 1.9 and the 2. Evaluate that whole thing before you subtract it from 3.4 squared plus 1.9 squared. And that should work out to be a little over 12.9. So to find d then, we would take the square root of the 12.926. And side d works out to be about 3.6 kilometers. So they're about 3.6 kilometers from where they started. So if they walk in the right direction, they 3.6 kilometers, they would get back to where they started. And that's the end of the lesson.